Hey everyone, um, so October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month um, and October 15th especially is National Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day. Um, and so what you're supposed to do on that day at 7 p.m. you're supposed to light a candle and everyone's candles are supposed to unite to remember the babies that have been lost. Um, I'm going to light a candle for Nora. Um, but there are also some things that I wanted to discuss just statistically that I've come across um, in these like recent months. So the CDC reports that one in a hundred pregnancies end in a stillbirth um, for 20 weeks or later, um, and that equals out to about 24,000 babies that are born that are born stillborn a year. Um, it's a lot of babies, a, a, a lot of babies, um, and Nora is included in one of those babies. Um, it also stated too that um, 10 to 15 percent of pregnancies result in a miscarriage, um, which is 20 weeks or under. Um, and that is one to 5% happening between weeks 13 to 19, um, which is still an alarming number. Um, because, you know, the old wise tale is, oh, once you get out of the first trimester, you're fine. Clearly that is not the case at all. Um, and it's hard for them really to do any sort of studies or really um, kind of get to the bottom of it because every pregnancy is different and no woman is obviously willing to risk their self and their child um, for studies. There was an article I did come across though saying that maybe it's time to get a little bit more serious about the placenta. Um, I wish I had the link to it right now but I don't. Maybe one day I'm going to find it and I'm going to post it on here um, because I agree it's, it is time to really like investigate these placentas um, and like see what's going on, maybe find links. Um, for me, I guess I'm kind of a little bit more on the fortunate side. Um, kind of hard to say because I don't believe that I'm fortunate enough, that I'm fortunate, fortunate it, <laughs> I can't say it, um, because it's so unfortunate to have lost Nora. Um, but I was able to, you know, um, go to the doctor and it was determined my cause and my solution. So like I told you all, I have the uterine septum, um, which I can get removed. So hopefully in my next pregnancy, I can have a healthy pregnancy. Um, but not every woman gets that lucky. Some women never even get the answers and uh, have to go through this time and time again. I had uh, previously an abortion when I was 20. Um, you don't regret it. Um, maybe I wish now I had kind of found out what I know now um and I also had two miscarriages prior to Nora um both of them were kind of back to back um and they split about three years ago um but no one had mentioned to me um in the in in that time that the um uterine septum was a thing I didn't know I had arch shaped uterus I didn't know that there could be complications it was kind of just blown off to like well this happens sometimes um I wish now that I had known known differently because um, I wish Nora was here and I wish I was able to fix this before Nora. Um, but unfortunately, that is not the circumstance. Um, so I just have to just pick myself up and just keep going like I keep saying in these videos. Um, that's what we do, guys. Not gonna lie, last three ones have been really hard. <laughs> Uh, I guess another thing too I wanted to say, so given that it's National um, Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month, is just that, so there are some things that you can do uh, that they recommend, but obviously these are not the solution. So they say, um, prior to becoming pregnant, reduce your stress. <laughs> One, I'm learning. Um, they also say... Uh, proper diet and exercise, uh, which I keep saying to you guys, I'm, I want to really start showing you um, all this stuff. Um, get yourself to a healthy weight. Um, kind of get um, any under control any metal conditions you might have, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, quit smoking, uh, stop drinking alcohol, obviously don't do drugs. Um, Find yourself a good doctor too, one that you trust, um, one that you you know you can keep for your pregnancy. Um, you know, one that's going to listen to you, and one that you're going to listen to them. Um, and do your research. You know, try to do as much research as you can. Um, and when 
if you go through this or you know someone who goes through this, um, I don't know the magic words. I have not found the magic words myself and I have not found the magic words that anyone has said to me. Um, I think the best is just to offer your hand and support. Um, for me, I find it even just a simple like, hey, how are you doing? If you need anything, let me know. Um, goes a long way. I mean, for me, I, I, I appreciate that. Um, I'm listening to other women's stories. Like, I'm really excited. I want to go get Demi Moore's book. I want to see what she has to say because she probably just now touched. She went through a miscarriage with Aston Kutcher at six months. Um, and she didn't recover well from it. Um, so I want to see her story and how she got herself out of it. Um, so listening to other people's stories is helpful. Um, it's hurtful, guys. It's a hurtful experience. Um, it's a tremendous amount of pain. Um, and I keep saying unfair because it's just what it keeps coming down to. It just feels unfair. Um, it's lonely and it's draining. And I hope none of you just have to go through this. I really hope not. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to go. I'll see you all next week. Bye.